Surprise! So, we started off cramming the suitcase as much as we could, headed to the airport, had a pizza, standard, right? Flew over for two and a half hours with a couple of drinks along the way, you know how it is. Jumped in a very expensive taxi. We explored a little, and now we've made it here to Budapest. <laughs> So, day one, activity number one. We are going to head up to the Fisherman's, what babe? Bastion. Fisherman's Bastion, because the views, the scenes up there are unreal. The weather is freaking gorgeous. I'm gonna take this off in a minute. We are going to go across either that bridge or that bridge to get up there. We are gonna get walking. I'm pretty sure everything is pretty much walking distance within sort of 20 or 30 minutes away. Um, of where, where we are, where our hotel is anyway. So, we are going to enjoy a day no more uno. I'll see you guys back at the hotel. You've done that twice now. Um, do you want me to do it? No, I've got this. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. You're rubbish at them. <laughs> I did think I was going a straw. Sod the glass, just give yeah. me a straw. <laughs> Can he pour? Can he pour? No. He can pour. Get Look the at head that. He can pour. Get the head on that. That's what she said. Can she pour? Can she pour? <laughs> Cheers. Oh, fab. I love TV. Smells like car air freshener. Oh my god, this is a massive room. Oh, that was not spongy like I expected. You fully went. Oh, you knew you were going to do that. That's why you didn't jump. I didn't want to jump on the crust. I didn't expect it. to the baths. How long have we been walking for? 75 hours. 70? Seriously, how long have we been walking for? Um, about 40 minutes. So, we went for breakfast, right, that was unreal. What was that place called? New York Cafe. At the New York Cafe. Very fancy, very old fashioned building. Very expensive. Very expensive building, very expensive breakfast. And now, we have uh, earned ourselves a nice little relax in the uh, in the baths of Budapest. We're going to there's like 700 of them, but we're going to this big yellow one here. Well, this is a new and interesting experience. 
20 quid each. They say it's every 20 minutes, it is not. The woman on the bus was really rude. It took us fing ages to get here, but then again, it, it's an hour, it's an hour and 10 minute walk, so it was a lot quicker than that. It's going really well. I kind of wish we were in that little group there, because they're doing a tour and Hero Square is part of the tour. We're at Hero Square, by the way. Um, and I mean, it looks cool, but uh, history's not really my thing. I am gonna click. What are you doing? <laughs> history's not really my thing at all. Um, and I haven't got a clue what, what any of it is. I mean, I don't want to sound like an idiot, but I know Hero Square it must be someone very important to the country and all that kind of stuff. Hey? I know what it is. It's one of the major squares in Budapest, noted for its iconic statue complex featuring the seven chieftains of the Magyars and other important Hungarian national leaders. Ah, obviously. As obviously. Well the oh, oh, there's more, there's more. As well as the memorial stones of heroes often Oh, I can't say that word. Referred to as the tombs of the unknown soldiers. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Right, there's people climbing on the things for photos and stuff like, oh, you know, get that. Pick for the gram and all that kind of stuff, but... That's a I said, tomb. I said to... What is? That, people climbing on it. Oh, it's a tomb? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, that's weird. I didn't want to climb on it initially because I thought it would just be disrespectful, like a landmark, national landmark and stuff like that. Like, um... I just didn't want to climb on it. Now I know it's a freaking tomb. I didn't. I had no idea. So anyway, that's Hero Square and a, and a brief history lesson on the channel today. Check out Hogwarts on the other side. <laughs> I don't know the. I don't know the tune. No. Right, we did it again. We don't like the bus, but to be honest, we had a much better impression for the second time. I think we caught her on the wrong day. Currently on route to the 360 cafe. It's like a dome, um... Igloo. Igloo, it's an igloo. At said 360 cafe, we are feeling, 360 um... 360 bar. 360 bar, you said cafe? Oh no, it's the New York cafe, 360 bar, okay. 360 bar. Charlotte's feeling an Aperol spritz, ain't you babe? Yeah. And I am feeling a mojito because my go-to drink over the past few months, probably about a year, maybe a bit more than that now, since we last went on holiday, has been a mojito. It used to be a daiquiri, right? It used to be a strawberry daiquiri, and I still love a strawberry daiquiri. However, it can be so easy to get a daiquiri wrong. If you pour the ingredients in at the wrong measures of a mojito, it still tastes nice. Whereas if you pour the wrong ingredients at the wrong measures in a daiquiri, then it just does not taste good. So, mojito. Numero uno. Are you ready? Okay. Go, go. Oh, cool. Vibey music, vibey sunglasses. Hey, I don't know what I was expecting for um, this bar. 
but I wasn't really expecting. He zoomed in on my face. No, I've just zoomed in. Uh, don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't really expecting this. Oh, touch it, it's cold. It's so weird. I don't know. It's cool though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I needed that. You can have that crap. And that crap. Oh, this hi, this is mine though. Oh, oh! <laughs> go on, go on. Let's have a go, let's have a go. I literally, I cannot believe we are doing, this is unreal. This is unbelievable. Oh, hang, on. Really hang on, hang on, hang <laughs> on. I can't do it with one hand. I'm going in, I'm going, oh, I've lost it, I've lost it. I've lost it, I've lost it. I've lost it. Babe, it? help. Did you see it? Oh, got it. I I'm on it, I'm on it. Quickly, take it, take it. It's stringy, man. Look at that, people. My girl has gone forever. Look at that. What cheese is it? Do you know? This is mad. Oh shit. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh. No idea what these little white things are. Um, smells like an onion, and I don't really like onions on their own. However, I'm willing to give it a go because we paid 20 quid for this. I'm hoping that all I'll taste is cheese. <laughs> yeah, and it's got like a sweet aftertaste. Oh, it's alright, you know. It's alright. Wouldn't be my first choice, but it's okay. Let's get closer. They're hard there. Yeah, they've got stones in them. Yeah. No, I don't like colours. <laughs> Meal was unbelievable. Drinks, everything. It cost like 50 quid. So worth it. So worth it. And what do you know? The bus is here. We're going to get the bus back. It's only like half hour walk, but we're getting the bus back because, well, like, well because we paid for it. We're going cash tonight on the basis that we're just, um, I think we're just going for pizza. Yep. Room, uh, dinner, hang on, dinner, bed, dinner, uh, bed.
This holiday malarkey is tiring. Yeah, it's tiring doing a whole lot of nothing, isn't it? Yes. Mm. <laughs> so it's the last day, um, and we thought we'd do something fun, and so we are going on the boat. If we can find the boat. If we can find the boat, we've been looking for it for like 15 minutes now. So we started off the day with a spot of window shopping, and now, once we finally find it, we're going on the boat. It's all good. We got it. We got it. Never in doubt, really. trip down the Danube, eh babe? Down the Danube. So I'm good at geography. We were at the Parliament building yesterday um, and you can just appreciate the sheer size of it when you are kind of away from it, when you can see it from a distance, like on the water. Like if you're up the top on the Buddha side, then it's a little bit too um, far away, so it seems a little bit smaller. Whereas you're still relatively close, but you can still see how big it is. You can actually appreciate the, the, the magnitude of the buildings. Super cool Budapest view. Bye, room. Oh, wow, that view is cool. This place is really cool. This hotel's in a really cool place.